At 28 feet, 8 inches long, roughly 4,800 pounds dry, this slideless seven sleeping bunkhouse beauty is perfect for that family looking for that first RV. Welcome to the all new Forest River Salem Cruise Light 261 BHXL. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing in the slideless bunkhouse known as the Forest River Salem Cruise Light 261 BHXL. I'm going to start right over here on the camp side. We got these double over double bunks, 48 by 74 with dual USB charging. Plus you got a nice large window here on the top. The bottom bunk is for what I like to call the coffin sleepers, people that like it dark and quiet. Look at how nice that would be if you enjoyed that. Not only that, look at the storage space that we have underneath the bunks. Plus on the bunks, you got those teddy bear uh, series style mattresses right here. They're plush, they're comfortable. You do have a privacy curtain right here as well to kind of help with privacy. But let me just go ahead and start this one by saying, this is a slideless bunkhouse RV. What I like about the Salem Cruise Lights is their entry level but they have features that you're not going to be able to find on a lot of entry-level RVs. They got those kind of mid-tier features like large windows, comfortable Versa Lounge equipment. You'll kind of see more as we go. So if you're looking for that first RV, that first bunkhouse, you need to sleep seven. I mean, you could fit more than that in here. This is going to be one you definitely want to look at, especially if you need just something you could set up and be a hunting cabin, a fishing cabin. You got land at the mountains, land at the beach, you don't want to buy a timeshare because you want to be able to take your comfort home vacation spot wherever you want to go. I got you covered right here. Right, speaking of right here, look at that large single basin sink that we have here. You also have the medicine cabinet right there with the suspension strain to keep it safe while in transit. You got yourself some storage underneath. You got your controls for your suburban heater right here but your air conditioner is actually that 13.5 Coleman mock that we have right there. It's roof mounted, so your ducts are the controls on the front and the rear. But with the way this is built and the fact that it's slideless, that does a pretty good job of keeping this thing cool the way you want it cool. On the rear off camp side, now this is where with it being slideless, you're gonna see a little bit of the tight fits come into play. High rise plastic bowl here with the foot flush. I got that Aqua Series shower door slash curtain on my walk-in shower. And I got to tell you, now this is good when I'm standing this way, but when I turn this way, it might be a little tight. But they did give me some additional room with this curved bar right here. So I'm not cramped. I still got plenty of space. And the skylight does give me not only the additional light, but the additional headroom. Shower nozzle right here herringbone pattern, which does match the floor of the slip resistant, easy to clean flooring that they put in here. They really brightened up the decor for, for 22 here with the Salem's and the Salem cruise lights. Got my fan and vent right there. Come back out into the kitchen area. I got my 11 cubic foot ever chill 12 volt fridge freezer combo right here. You'll see that's plenty of space, vibration smart and frost resistant. But with these, you just gotta watch out because if you're gonna go boondocking, uh, just get, get the solar panels, get something to help charge those batteries because this is gonna pull off of those coach batteries with that 12 volt. Right over here on the campsite is my booth dinette. Now this is part of their Versa Lounge system. So you can take those cushions in and out. This does reduce down into a sleeper. You could probably fit two adults on here if you like to kind of you know sleep in that kind of fetal position but you got a huge panoramic window with the wood balance is decorative on the side, plus the curtains, as my buddy Bob likes to point out, they're white on the back. Why is that important? Well, most RVs, especially entry level that you bring in, the back of the curtain's black. If you're out in the summertime, that's gonna absorb that heat and increase the temperature inside of the coach. Having that is a nice feature to reflect the heat. Got a little port right there, so if I wanna set up a TV, I could run some entertainment, Plus you got solid wood construction with these matte black featured handles, good high rise space in there. I like the decorative paneling that we have here on the ceiling. Plus I am pre-wired for the King Wi-Fi 4G LTE extender. We're also pre-wired for solar panels on the roof. 
Right here is my Furion AM FM command center with dual zone HDMI. It is Bluetooth and USB. Very nice little entertainment system if you want to be bumping your music in here or outside. I mean, how can you go camping without playing Raffi? This is the main reason why I like the Versa Lounge equipment that Forest River puts into Salem's. Sure, it's plush, it's comfortable, it's kind of sweat resistant with the material that's on it, but you get storage bins to keep that organizational flow going inside your RV. Keep your stuff where you know where it is. These are stackable, they're durable, they're heavy duty, and they slide right back under both sides of your booth dinette. Now, if you do have the jackknife sofa inside your RV with the Versa Lounge, you notice that one has three in it as well. Over here on the off-camp side, I do have my kitchen which is that pressed surface countertop with the rolled edges. Got the GFCI outlet there, my drying rack under my 5050 undermounted sink with the high rise faucet, large window there, flush mounted three burner cooktop, little accent light on the controls, plus the glass cover. And I got my Greystone oven right there. Flush mounted Greystone microwave as well. Frosted glass inlay inside the cabinetry here. I, I like this because they're maximizing my space. My cabinet doesn't end right here like it does with most RVs. The only negative is if somebody's sitting right here on the jackknife sofa, they go to get up. If you got a big giant noggin like mine, you might hit it. So just kind of, you know, be mindful of that. But good space, good storage, large window. This is a jackknife, reduces down into a sleeper. And you'll notice my 20,000 BTU furnace is right there underneath. That's where the ducts are. And I have my curtain for some privacy, my mount, my power, and my connection if I want to set up some cable right here inside my master bedroom. Now you do have the ward storage, which also has the cubby hole I like that because you can access it without having to get up and open up the door and waking somebody up. So if you put your cell phone in there or something, you know, you got the 110 on both sides, plus you got the dual USB charging on both sides. And you even have the little handy dandy laundry hamper basket, which, you know, as, as Bob likes to say, it makes sure you keep your stink out of the RV and keep it right in there. It's accessible, it's breathable. You can get to it from the pass-through storage, but it is a net bag, so I guess to get to it, you'd have to cut it. I don't know, I still like it. Strut supported storage under the bed, which is accessible from the pass-through storage. And I like this because if you got, you know, storage or whatever inside the pass-through, and you need to get to it, it's raining outside or we got bad weather, you don't have to go outside to get to it. You can access it right there and it is strut supported. Storage bins plus cubby storage, just a very nice feature. Very nice feature. Slideless, lightweight, not a lot of separation of space. So if you're looking for that, you're not gonna find it. But for an entry level bunkhouse RV, this 261 BHXL checks all the boxes for what you're looking for as far as space, style, and convenience, and comfort. Pretty good. We've seen the inside. Let's go check out the outside. So here we are on the outside of the all new Forest River Salem Cruise Light 261 BHXL. Let's start right up front with the diamond plated rock guard, that seamless roof going over the top, plus that single welded frame, really giving you some support for this coach. Twin 20 pound LP tanks up front and a powered tongue jack with LED light. Come around to the side, you'll see that we have the reinforced stabilizer jacks for the front and the rear. Plus you got that accessibility under there as well. It's a heated and enclosed underbelly with the panel system in there. And you know what that means, that's just a, if something happens, you need to get to a tank or, you know, whatever. You, you, only, you only have to worry about taking one panel off at a time as opposed to the whole thing. Check out my finished pass-through storage as well. Not only are the doors a little bit wider this year, you also have the netting there and on the back of the door, it's dry erase surface. Great for keeping that organizational flow going. If you need to do to-do lists, have the kids do some doodles, draw something cool, or just leave some notes, you got it there. Plus the latches are magnetic and anti-slam. Got a large awning with the LED light strip, solid step over steps leading me into the main entry point. And we got double axle on this one with nitro filled tires, those steel rims and those Dexter Easy Lube axles. Right there are my external speakers, uh, which are marine grade, they're loud. You got the dual zone entertainment for inside and out, great option. 
cable and power connection right here beside my external kitchen. I'm a fan of these because over the last couple of years, manufacturers have started including griddles as opposed to the two burner cooktops. And I like this because it really opens up cooking. I mean, breakfast, you know, number one, bacon, eggs, pancakes. Plus look at the cooking space that we have right here as opposed to just two burners. And you got your Everchill mini fridge right there. Rear stabilizer jack, which is also reinforced with a strong arm bar. LP quick connect right here, right in front of my four x four sewer hose storage. Spray port, black tank flush, spare tire mounted on the back. Plus you have that arch ceiling with the three inch rubber nozzles and the backup camera. Come over here. I have my cable and satellite connection, as well as my main terminations. You'll see the gray tank and the black tank. On this one, you got a 40, a 30, and a 28. 40 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, 28 gallon black. I mean, for something that's 28 feet, eight inches, uh, slideless, that's pretty good. I'd like to have bigger tanks. You know, so if you wanna go off the grid for a while, you just gotta keep that in mind. City water connection fresh water connection and your fresh tank drains are actually right over there. You'll see the, or as I like to call it, the white tank drain. Back of the furnace, other side of my pass through storage. And one of the most important parts of any RV is gonna be this info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this unit weigh? So for this one, the dry weight was roughly 48, 4,900 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,545. You take that information back to your specialist at Camping World in Uganda and you say, hey, what does that mean? Tell me, because here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. Here's where I'm going, you know, here's where I want to go camping. If you give us that information, that's really what we can use to guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. But, but at 28 feet, eight inches long, slideless, can sleep let's just say seven people comfortably. If you got kids, maybe more. Uh, great hunting cabin, great fishing cabin, great entry-level bunkhouse to really dip your toe into the RV waters. If you're looking for your first one, I would say check out the Forest River Salem Cruise Light 261 BHXL. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it. What boxes did it check for you? Which boxes did it not check for you? Because we love hearing from you. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify so the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV. Thank you for joining me so much. hey -ya! Giddy up. Let's get on out of here. Let me see if I can pull this thing. All right, I'll see y'all later.